Hello friends. I am going to walk you through what you're supposed to be doing for grammar unit five, group three. I'll do the sentences with you and then we'll talk about present, past, and future tensed verbs. And then we will review article adjectives when you're supposed to use a and when you're supposed to use an, okay? So sentence number one is already done for you on your page. So I'm gonna skip that one and just go straight, straight to number two. Here we go. <laughs> Joe's dog growled at the mailman. What growled at the mailman dog? Subject noun. What is being said about dog? Dog growled verb. At preposition at what mailman object of the preposition the article adjective whose dog Joe's possessive noun adjective subject noun verb pattern one check woohoo at the mailman prepositional phrase period statement declarative sentence go back to the verb and divide the complete subject from the complete predicate dog growled and the two nouns are dog and mailman there we go sentence number one well, number two. Now, sentence number three. The beaver family swam around the pond. What swam around the pond? Family, subject, noun. What is being said about family? Family, swam, verb. Around, preposition, around what? Pond, object of the preposition, the article, adjective, what kind of family, beaver, adjective, the article, adjective, subject, noun, verb, pattern, one, check, woohoo, around the pond, prepositional phrase, very good statement, declarative sentence, go back to the verb and divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. Family, swam, and our two nouns are family and pond. All right, just a really quick review of present, past, and future tenses. If you have your action word, your verb is happening in the present, that means it's happening right now. And some tips for knowing whether or not your verb and your action is happening in the present is if your verb has no ending, like the word play, I play outside, or if it has an S ending, he plays outside, or if it has an ing ending, I am playing outside. Those would all be tips on knowing that it, the action is happening in the present, which means it's happening right now. And on your grammar paper, if you find that your verb is happening in the present, then you need to put a one for present tense, okay? Present tense is gonna be a one. Past tense, a hint that uh, your action is happening in the past tense is if your verb ends with an ed. I played outside. I already did it. It's done. It happened in the past. You're going to label past tense verbs with a two. Okay? And then future tense is the easiest one to, to find and to solve because it always has the word will in it. I will play outside. I haven't done it yet, but I will sometime in the future. And you'll label, label your future tense verbs with a three. Good luck. 
Um, one quick thing before I'm done with this video, I want to remind you when you use an article adjective a or an article adjective an, the most important thing to do is look at the word after. Okay, if we have the word, if we have the word uh, bunny, and we have the word egg. Bunny starts with a consonant, egg starts with a vowel, and this will be the clue to know whether you're supposed to use an A or an AN. If this word starts with a consonant, like bunny does, then you can use article adjective A. But if your word starts with a vowel, like egg does, then you have to use the article adjective AN and egg. If this is a vowel, well, I should say that if this is a consonant, then this has to be a vowel. If this is a vowel, then this has to be a consonant. Okay. We talked about that before spring break, but that was a very long time ago. So that's just um, reminders. Good luck, you guys.